All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are starting a new series on the channel at episode four. Uh, that is Orb on the Movements of the Earth. Um, I watched the first two episodes because I think they came out at the same time. And I was like, holy shit, this is good. Uh, watched the third episode and I was like, holy shit, my heart is broken. Um, but yeah, what an interesting concept for an anime. Um, I thought I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm going to start reacting to this because it, it's just honestly, it's probably like the hidden gem of the season, to be honest. I think not enough people are watching it uh, from the looks of things. So uh, I, put, I thought I'd put my thoughts out on the, on the internet for you guys for this series weekly. Hopefully it does well, but I don't really mind because honestly, this, uh, this series is, I think it's going to be really special. Um... To summarize the first three episodes, we've got Raphael, well we had Raphael unfortunately, uh, who is a young boy who's heavily interested in astronomy. Um, they live in a world where obviously religion is power, the power. Um, obviously it was way more like that in the past as opposed to actual science. Um, and he was like, yeah, if I just, you know, pass through life, I can do what I want as a hobby as long as I don't let people know. Um, he ended up meeting someone who was kind of jailed and tortured for their crimes, named Hubert. He told him about helios... I want to say heliocentrism... Centrism? Helio... Something like that. I'll get the proper word for it, probably in this episode. Um, but yeah, obviously what we know as how the universe actually works. The solar system, universe, whatever. And uh, he blew his little mind and uh, he ended up unfortunately giving his life for it and now it's been what like a 10 year time skip i think i think it mentioned a 10 year time skip um and uh, he's he's gone and it looks like it's focusing on a set of new characters kind of like to your eternity did which if it's anything like to your eternity and that means heartbreaking Ooh, it's gonna, we're gonna be in for a ride but yeah Overall, very, very promising pr uh, plot, and I'm looking forward to this uh, to react to this on the channel, like I said. But anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Are they pouring shit on them? Are you pouring doo-doo on me when we're asking for food? You assholes. I wanted to mention as well, um, obviously this is a work of fiction, however, obviously the science is truthful, is solid, <laughs> um, and if anything like this, like, if there's anything I should know about the show, like if the story is based on like real people, or just kind of real ideologies, maybe stories passed down, like that I should know, I'd really be interested in that, because I, I'd... It's cool to think about the people that brought these ideas to life and proved them. Which is why this anime is such a cool concept. So, like, the previous priest was talking about, like, or the priest's faction, was that the Earth is so beautiful, that's why it's the center of the universe, where these guys are talking about, like, it's the center of the universe, but it's also the bottom of the universe because we're so sinful and ugly. Interesting. And then I guess this is going to be our, our new main character. Does he have like really good vision like Raphael did? Uh, what is your guys' job? <laughs> oh, is there a different opening now? Like focused on the next character? If it goes from character to character like a two-year eternity did, this show is going to break my heart 100%. Okay, so the opening looks the same. It's just at the very beginning it will had a had someone else. This guy. This opening's such a banger, especially this part. Oh, makes me feel things. Love it. This is gonna be such a powerful anime. Are they thieves? Or are they assassins? What is happening? Are they one V Y wanting? What the fuck? What is happening? Why are y'all dueling? I don't I don't get it. I don't think you're cut out for this big boy. 
Just because they've got skills in you, don't? You should have hired people to work for you, brother. That's a crazy line of work, but I guess there's business for it. Ooh, this guy's good. Damn, that knife. Oh, you're about to lose your life. Murder's a terrible sin, yeah? They've already made their contract. They seem like the type of guys that won't, won't fuck up their contract. Yeah, there you go. They have reputation. They can't just go on deals, you know? You say burn in hell. Bro doesn't seem too phased about this job. He's like somewhat detached emotion wise. But then he does have like really dark like bags below his eyes. Mm, I don't know. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you would be. The hell? Uh, I have to know what is good about your world at, at this moment in time. The unknown. Trying to figure out the unknown, that's what Raphael loved. Bro seems to be easily manipulated. Okay, wow, he's been bottling this up. In this world, true. He's a very glass half empty kind of guy, though. A little bit messed up in the head. I think he needs to <laughs> be introduced to astronomy to change his view on the world. Money。Alcohol. Fame. Yeah? How about we step outside, brother? Oh. I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, bro was gonna let you off anyway, the way he explained it. Right, what is the hope you found? Anytime. It's a book. Whoa! The observation of Mars? What the hell? I love how, like, even if one human dies, there will be more and more people that will figure this stuff out. I love that. There are as many as five. Wow. A fiery red glow? Are you sure you're looking at Mars? I guess he'd be looking at Mars, it's night time. <laughs> Damn, this guy's serious. Here's me thinking like bro's gonna be like alcohol, money, fame. No, this is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. He just say the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, have you ever done anything to prove him wrong? Oh, he's into it as well. Ooh, interesting. What did, what was that blonde guy onto the? <laughs> This guy's like, what is bro talking about? <laughs> yeah? Some man's about to lose the <laughs> lose his life behind them? He's like, just chatting away. Yeah, his new hope. And now he might spiral because his theory was wrong. Or off, yeah, is more likely. 
Oh god. Don't give up. I think I know as much as uh, about the solar system and the universe as the next person. But yeah, there's probably some things in this uh, in this show that I'll that, that I will have skipped over in uh, high school science. No, I'm by no means an expert. These guys are probably more experts than me at times. <laughs> Which uh, prisoner is it? Is it someone we know? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they are wearing the... Are they, is he wearing the necklace that Raphael had? Oh, it's him! Oh my god, I didn't even recognise him with his hair and beard like that, but then I heard his voice, I was like, oh shit. How does he know? How does he know that I like the sky? I pity you too much to hit you. Wow. Not happening, Chief. Is he going to tell him about Mars, maybe? And how he, how he was wrong? <laughs> Damn. Very true. Bro's about to lop this man's head off. Or is he just locked in listening? I don't know. I can't tell. I just don't like the way he's holding his sword. Shit. <laughs> he's right, though. Oh, he's about to lop his head off. Oh, no. How did this guy get the little wooden ball necklace? Oh shit! He's spitting! I don't like that we can't see the other guy right now. Or does he? Oh, he's talking about the books and shit. I wonder if it's going to be based around both these guys then, for this part, and not just uh, our main guy, Oxy. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Interesting! You had him locked in the moment you said that the Earth was beautiful. Right, so that was Orb on the Movements of the Earth, episode 4. Uh, good little episode there. It's interesting seeing many points of view on many directions or paths that people will inevitably find on like coming to their own conclusions about what the earth and what the universe and solar system everything is actually like um and how they choose to believe in religion or don't believe in religion or partly believe in religion um but kind of make their way back to science which which is really cool um, interesting new kind of duo we've got here. It seems more aimed as Oxy as the main character in this part. Um, but we've also got this glass, glass or glass guy as well, who's more interested in kind of the world beyond the earth. Um, so yeah, maybe these guys will be a duo and, um, Oxy will become more intrigued by the universe. But yeah, really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, seeing how it's going to go. Um, now I understand how they got the, uh, the the wooden ball necklace, at least. But yeah, uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an interesting day, and peace out.